Welcome back. While they may be common around your home, people rarely see the nocturnal southern flying squirrel, but humans have long envied their gliding abilities. Their base jumpers and skydivers have developed a special suit that mimics the flying squirrel. <laughs> Our friend Wild Woman is here to tell us all about exactly what a flying squirrel is. Yeah. Well, they're kind of the little cousin of the gray squirrel and the mm -hmm. fox squirrel that we're used to seeing in our yards. So, and these guys are tiny. They're about five inches long and weigh a few ounces. Aww. Yeah, so they're awful cute. And you they know, the only real mammal that can fly is the bat. So the flying squirrel actually just glides and it's got this extra fold of skin between its ankle and its wrist. And mm -hmm. what it does is it stretches out its front and back legs and that membrane stretches out and allows them to glide, you know, from tree to tree. Pretty and, amazing. Yeah, yeah, they if can you actually can see them in action. Yeah, well, we'll talk about that. Um, they can actually go about a third the length of a football field. So, wow. pretty amazing. That is yes. impressive. Where can we see them here in Arkansas? Well, they live statewide, so but they are nocturnal. Um, they love wooded areas near water. Mm -hmm. So, and that was some of their favorite things to eat are going to be areas where you've got like hickory trees. Mm -hmm. They love acorns, seeds, and berries, and nuts, and mushrooms. Um, they will occasionally eat a little bird egg or a bird nestling hmm. and they like meat and we'll eat really? carrion okay mm -hmm. they like lots of stuff they do um, they how can you spot one? How can you tell if, if it is a flying squirrel? <laughs> well, you're going to have to go out at nighttime, but we've got more nighttime coming, so mm -hmm. you're in luck. So if you go out, you know, look for them on like a moonlit night gliding mm -hmm. from tree to tree. And if you take a flashlight and shine their eyes, they have this uh, red glow in their eyes. Hmm. And the other fun thing is they make these bird-like noises, kind of, um, they make twittering noises and chirping noises so you can listen for them. Huh. And right. when they land on a tree, it makes a little thud, and then they scurry around to the other side because there are things that like to eat this little guy. Really, yeah. really interesting little creature. Do they have any predators? They do. Owls um, at nighttime, of course, hawks, snakes, mammals that can climb trees. Mm. So what's neat is they have this flat tail that works like a boat rudder, and if they're gliding and see danger, they can make even a right-angle turn mid-glide. <laughs> that is incredible yeah. how they're created to yeah. do that. It's yeah. amazing. So if you can see that in action, Pretty impressive. Yeah, it I is. I love that. It Boy, is. We live in a great, great state. So many people out enjoying fall now that it, we have the nice temperatures. We do have nice temperatures right now, and these little guys become real gregarious as mm -hmm. we get into winter, and they'll pile into a, a cavity like that a woodpecker has made. Twelve of them maybe will gather together and sleep during the day. Aww. So, yeah, get out and enjoy the cool evenings and, and check out. Maybe you'll see a flying That's squirrel. really sweet. Yeah. I mm -hmm. love that. Yeah. Good old family of squirrels. <laughs> Kristen, yeah. thank you. Uh -oh. <laughs> and that, of course. A good way to take us That to is a break. good way to take us out. <laughs> we'll be back with the final check of your forecast after this. Stick around.